yeah. you guys did a, a global search for a singer. You, and you did it through, like, uh, you hosted it on the website where people could submit uh, mm -hmm. demos, and you guys even supplied the tracks for them to sing over. Yeah, yeah. How many submissions did you receive? It was over 15,000. Jesus, are you serious? And we went through them all. And some were extremely talented. Yeah. Some were fantastic. Some were <laughs> extremely horrible. <laughs> some were comical. I mean, you guys had to have had some fun listening. Like, wait, are they serious? They yes. actually committed yeah. this to tape? Especially uh, when my kids would be um, sitting behind me and they just keep hearing, you know, like the same song over and over from different singers. <laughs> just like, Dad, make it stop. <laughs> stop. It's just like, these people are horrible. But uh, uh, like I said, some we actually had some country singers submit. And man, they had beautiful voices. And it yeah. was kind of kind of great to hear, you know, a little twang a little on stuff like a tripping on a hole in Interstate Love Song. So that would So how long did it take you to listen to all the demos? Uh, about a month. Jeez. It was it, just nonstop too. It was nonstop. I, I would do uh, four hour blocks because then my brain would be kind of foggy <laughs> right, by then. Right. And then and as we're listening to them, another thousand would come on, and another thousand would come in. So it's like, <laughs> oh, this isn't going to end. You're not catching up at that point. You're yeah, just, the but, hole's getting deeper. Yeah, Spinning but still, wheels. It, was, it was something new to something exciting. So it was, uh, it was a great little uh, venture to go on. And then, of course, Jeff didn't even submit, so he just, yeah. he just showed up so, and blew so, us away. Right, so how did that, how did that come about? He, he came in for an audition because you guys had heard that maybe he'd be a good fit, and then... He got referred to, uh, Robert was yeah. out, Robert yeah. the bass player was out with uh, the Hollywood Vampires. And, okay. And he, he was, was playing in Detroit. Detroit, yeah. yeah. And he got referred, Jeff got referred to him by a friend, said, hey, you got to check this guy out. And w what was the phone call like? Was it a phone call? Or when did you find, when you heard that you were the guy for Stone Temple Pilots, what, was it a call? Was it, it wasn't an email or a text? No, <laughs> the, the man management called me and, uh, you know, asked me to come into the office, so I kind of had an idea. I mean, this is, I was like, either this is going to be really good or it's going to be really bad. You so you had, to, you had to have been pretty nervous going into that, right? Uh, you know what? Or like anxious? Not really. I, anxious? I, felt, I felt pretty good about it. Um, I thought we had a great, um, we, had something, we had something special that, uh, that you can't fake. And that, you know, that's why, you know, it took so long. And that's why everyone took their time with this. Um, them and me, you know, and we, uh, we had to make sure it was right. And um, them especially, I mean, because it's their, it's their legacy at the end of the day. I'm just kind of hopping on and uh, helping, them, helping them continue the journey.